Hi everybody, welcome back to Time for Dicks and it's another reading. This is what's going to happen in next 48 hours, next two days. Uh, let's see what are the messages for you. So this is not a love reading, this is a mixed reading. First one is fish. Second is the flower. And I think I uh, did a different sequence, but this is what came in my hand. So I'm going to keep the sequence. First is fish. Here it is. Second is your white flower. And third is a pretty peach bird. So let's start the reading and let's see what are the messages for if you've chosen pile number one, which is, which is the fish. So you could be a water sign, dealing with a water sign. You've been going through a lot of emotions is what I feel. Also, um, I get, uh, you know, uh, it's almost uh, so, uh, going with the flow. You need to go with the flow the next uh, two days, whatever is happening. This one almost wanted to come out and why it came out is because I told this is a water sign and this is cancer. And it says uh, you and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worrying about your loved ones or anybody is not well or any problem, you know, in, uh, in, in your family or you wanted to know if the health of your loved ones, uh, loved one is fine. It's totally fine because it says they are safe. You're worrying about the safety. And I said this is a water sign and it's a water, earth and air. I do not get fire. I normally don't get fire. Fire is the last one. But anyway, it could be any of the signs, guys. This is a general reading, remember? Let's see what are the other messages for next 48 hours. It's time to take action. And I think Aries is a fire sign. The moment I said fire sign, it's time to add, uh, you know, take action. So uh, I think uh, whatever uh, needs attention, you need to, uh, you know, uh, make things happen now. And it's time, uh, you know, you... Uh, I want to say be, uh, you know, push things forward or I mean, if something wasn't moving ahead, you need to, uh, you know, move it like give it a push with this, with this head, you know, how the, uh, uh, the goat pushes something, you know, with the horns. So I really think something that needs, needs a push, you know, it's waiting for you to uh, start some, uh, some, something. Uh, probably you have to start the project do not depend on others okay that's the thing i get even if it's a relationship or anything you know you've uh, put your uh, you want the project to roll out so uh, do not wait for others give it a push you know it needs your push more than anybody else's uh, you know push you're the one who needs to get it started is what i also get you know prosperity lies ahead look at this it's almost bull also how the bull also uses his head okay the other thing i want to say is go with intellect more you know remember when we began the reading and i didn't take anything out i said you are um you're feeling a lot of emotions so probably that's a guidance that do not you know go with uh, decisions that are made with emotions i think it's time to use your intelligence use your smartness weigh things do not do it just because somebody is saying okay this is really good and your heart is like in your heart you're like a good hearted person and you're like okay because somebody is saying this is good for me i should go to that direction okay do not do that and uh, i re i really feel uh, this is this is also you know giving it a push and uh, also believing in things uh, that you really um, you know care for or really believe and if you have a belief and you it's really strong i think standing your ground to this you know look at this and it's almost like you're ready you know how the bull is actually uh, you know ready for a fight so i feel red color is going to be very good for you to pick this pile up though you picked up the fish and the gentle fish but i really think uh, red color is going to be really good for you and um, yes uh, for some of you, just go with the flow wherever life is taking you. But for some, it's like, you know, give it a push. And I think go with the flow came, you know, uh, I think God or the divine power is leading you onto a path. I mean, I think you left it on God and said, let me see, you know, where it takes me or let me see where things go. So for you, just go with the flow. For the other ones, I mean, you have to give some kind of a push uh, for something to start, you know, uh, some kind of momentum from your side is needed. You know, that's what I feel. And this time, this has come the second time, you know, are, are you worried about anybody's health? I get more mental health. Is it a friend? Is it a family member? You worried about somebody's mental health or you worried about your own mental health? Because uh, look at this. I mean, this is the second time I'm getting this. And uh, it's it's almost like emotions. You know how the uh, crab, uh, you know, uh, just hides and, you know, when, uh, you know, they just want to hide and not be, you know, like that hermit mode. So uh, I think you need to come out of your shell and approach something. You know, you cannot... Just keep, uh, you know, being in a, you can't lie, lie down there and just, you know, wait for things to happen. Because like I said, you need to give it a push. And look at this Pisces, that's another water sign. So you got to balance things out. I mean, you have to 
also push someone to work is it a relationship or you know you have to be after someone you know this is this is another message that i get and i think the push uh, you know the whole message that i'm getting is unless you are after somebody they are not going to work to the full potential you know a lot of times it's okay not to uh, you know once you've delegated work you do not have to really monitor it but something needs your monitoring and it's very important because somebody is not taking their work or something seriously and you have to be you know all the time behind their back do this do that and you getting fed up of it i think next two days it's important to see um, what the person is doing whoever you delegated the responsibility to or if somebody needs uh, you know you need that push somewhere uh, what do you need to release very important some negative thoughts something is your men mental health getting disturbed here i get some mental you know it's like a lot of um, anxiety or depression because of something something is uh, making you restless and uh, it's kind of giving you sleepless nights you've got to release uh, some kind of negativity that you have you know in in your head let's see what the moment cards are uh, saying you know they are very beautiful cards and i think there could be some guidances here let's see what do they want to say journey half the treasure is the journey on the path to finding it so i get a very different message from this card i feel that there is uh, there is movement right now you know you have to make that journey from point a to point b I think it's telling you also to move forward. I think this whole reading is about moving forward and giving it the momentum and push. You could be a catalyst in something, but you've got to move, uh, move things on. Dance, you got dance, not bad. Take inspiration from the moonlight dancing on the surface of the sea. So uh, this I feel is uh, some kind of a celebration coming up. I get uh, celebration, you know, within two days, within three days, celebrating a new thing, you know, something that... Uh, some some kind of a newness in life and could be very small could be very big but you're going to die you know this is a, a great time because you're going to celebrate something with the dance i get a uh, celebration and uh, that's what i feel and uh, let's see what are the other messages anchor keep yourself grounded okay so emotionally i feel you need to keep yourself grounded because emotions can uh, push you to make the wrong decisions or take the wrong decisions i think you keep yourself grounded is very important for me here and look at this it says choose wisely so whatever paths you are going to go on or whatever you need to choose between please choose it wisely i get here it's more about you know using your intellect to do things or you know to move forward or whatever you need to do it's it's a very crucial time for you i think these two days are very crucial for you whatever decisions you wanted to make let's see what are the love messages i'm going to do a short reading because sometimes we need guidances for the next few days because we have something in mind Love yourself first, so give yourself more importance rather than giving others importance. It's a time for you to do things. And I, I think because uh, there'll be so much happening around you and uh, especially because you have to move things, it's a time It's it's time to take care of yourself and love yourself first is also any mental anxi anxiety, any kind of anxiety that's happening, you've got to address that, okay? I feel you take care of others too much where you forget taking care of yourself is a very big message and uh, uh, look at this uh, healing family issues yeah i feel mental health or something you know remember i said uh, there, there is some anxiety probably related to family or others but definitely you know worrying about people uh, so this uh, whoever's chosen this pile i think somebody is not well around you or you really feeling anxious about if they are fine where they are probably you worrying about their safety or you know probably somebody around you is going through a mental health problem or some kind of a depression you know this is giving you anxiety and you really want to help someone uh, but it's difficult for you to reach out i don't know either they've shut themselves or either you know you're too far away from them but definitely i feel they are you know you you cannot reach out to them probably they are a little um, they stay away from you any other messages i'm just trying to see whatever messages that are important file number one some kind of news coming to you okay and uh, I, I feel somewhere you need to keep your confidence also is very important because there are a lot of things happening. Love yourself first is also, you know, uh, getting your confidence back to uh, do some, some things, you know. If you thought that uh, I cannot uh, do this, it's too difficult for me or this is not for me, I think keep that confidence and, uh, you know, believe in yourself is a big affirmation for you guys if you've chosen file number one that I believe in myself, I believe I can do things is uh, very uh, big for you. Sorry, I just turned because the light was less. And I think uh, definitely some little good news is coming. Remember I said there is a celebration and because there is some, some little joy, some, some little thing or even could be big, but I get a little news or anything, you know, sometimes an increment or some project or, you know, somebody's getting married or whatever, some, you're going to meet your best friend, but something is coming towards you, which is good, which will give you a lot of, you know, you'll feel great about it. So that's what I get. 
So pile number one, those were your messages. I'm going to move on to pile number two. Pile number one, I get seven is a good important number for you, okay? And I get blue as a color. Blue is good for you as a color, the kind of color I'm wearing, okay? So messages for pile number two, if you've chosen the pretty white rose, you're very dreamy right now, I mean, a lot of dreams. Are you daydreaming? Daydreaming about completing something? Daydreaming about a lot of projects? Daydreaming about a lot of things happening? Uh, daydreaming about a wedding? I don't know, I just uh, thought of a, a flash of a wedding. A white dress came to my mind like a wedding in a church. Are you going to attend something? Or is it about a wedding? Or are you thinking about a wedding dress, a gown? And uh, have you been seeing white birds? White birds? Are you getting attracted to white birds? Any white birds? Anything, anything white you've been thinking about, like peaceful, keep the calm, peaceful, uh, smelling the roses, uh, smelling, I, I get fortune here, the word that I, sorry, I was just channeling, so I was reading somewhere else, I get the word fortune, let me see what resonates, if you've chosen the white rose, this rose will come without thorns, okay, uh, that's a very big message, whatever you are dealing with is good, there are, there's no negative to that, I don't know what your situation is, but you will understand, so I don't see any thorns and suddenly I realize that this is a guided message. So whatever you, uh, you know, choose, uh, there'll be no bad things around it. You know, it's all positive is what I get. So that's nice. Emotions are running high. So be careful of your emotions. Emoting, you know, some, it's good to have emotions, but emotions are running high. Sometimes emotion runs, uh, runs so high that you do not, you know, you, you can, there's no control, you know. And I don't know why there's no control. I hope this is uh, more positive where emotions are running high, probably a great news and that's, makes you more, uh, you know, very, um, you know, like ha gives you happy tears. I get happy tears here. You know, I don't know why, because I, I feel in this reading, in this one, especially white rose, there's nothing negative, you know, it's happy tears. So emotions are running high because somebody gave you good news and uh, that's what I feel. You're very close to achieving your dream. So very close to whatever you wanted. And look at this, how close the moon is. So it's almost like up for grabs. Okay, that's another message, you're up for grabs. It's so close to you, maybe the offer, the opportunity, it's just lying there, you know, it's like just you pick up a fruit and it's on the ground. You don't even have to pluck it from a tree or something, but something is uh, just just there for you to pick up, you know, and it's a great, I get a great opportunity for you guys. Yes, here it is, expect powerful change. So happy tears, emotions running high, something you did not expect ha is going to happen, totally unexpected. You never thought you could get it. Uh, it will happen. It will change your life. I get something. I get a change your life totally. And I can see a wheel. And, sorry, I'm just looking at something. And I get a wheel in my mind. You know how uh, uh, a wheel, when it just moves on, you move on from one place to another and it changes your landscape. So I really feel things will change around you because there is there is a big change happening for you guys, you know. It's like, remember, uh, I, oh, sorry, I mean, I don't know where it is. It's like almost from darkness you're moving towards light you know next two days is going to be beautiful for you here it is again i got this card look at how light is coming through you'll find your way like i said this rose doesn't have any thorns so the darkness will not stay for long you will move into a better uh, you'll move into better times and look how uh, light is passing through and you will find a way that's a very big thing you know you'll find a way to shine you know you'll find a way there's a way out you know you're not stuck in your situation i get a very big message for pile number two. Nothing is set in stone. Look at this. Times are not hard. So if times were not good, it's not set in stone. It's not that it's going to continue. It's going to change pretty much soon. Okay, that's what I feel and I believe in because that's a big, big message. Let's see what are the other messages. I'm using two, three decks. Optimism. After each rainstorm, there will be clear skies. Guys, what did I tell you? That after problems, things are going to be okay. Look at this. I told you there is darkness from darkness to light. Look at this. Be optimistic. How beautiful is this reading? So after rain, there is sunshine. Look at this. Your storms are over now. You do not have to worry about it. I Look at this. Communication. It's going to flow the communication is going to flow look at this beautiful cards one after the other let your worries drift away see and something beautiful is coming for you, uh, for you just let do not think about it things will happen it expect powerful changes guys communicate things left unsaid will never reach the shore so time to communicate maybe communication will change a lot of things maybe a communication you receive from someone will change a lot of things 
but this is a brilliant reading guys whoever chose the white rose let your worries drift away what else do you want just, just let them flow okay and i really feel you're moving to better times and uh, you'll be in a better place there'll be better things happening for you awesome reading let's see if the other messages are fine i'm sorry i have to pick it up which i always do oh. let's see let's see yes look at this ready for the battle all the all the swords are there it's done you know you're okay you're ready for the battle you've rested i feel with this card you rested enough you're you're now up uh, for a good battle for a good challenge you're like okay like bring it on i mean you've trained yourself i mean you're not really uh, you do not fear anything anymore that's what i get see i mean you've uh, had a you yeah you had a tough time i get i don't know whoever chose this had a lot of thorns in the rose and uh, you know you've probably had a lot of fights and people turned their back on you and they fought with you instead of feeling depressed like this guy here who thinks nothing is going to be better you were not like that so i'm going to have water on my throat has been bad but i really feel see you know the opportunity you've grabbed it you've taken this words also you know there's a way out i mean you're not going to be left here on the island to die okay you know there's a way out sorry guys my throat was parched yeah so this is this is battle time this is bring it on okay yeah two days are going to be good i feel that all your hard work is going to pay I also feel with this group, uh, multiples of three will be important. You know, the number of multiples of three are good for you. There'll be improvements. You'll be probably renovating your home, is what I feel. Um, any kind of negativity, don't even think. You know, it'll be dismissed from your life, or um, it'll be, you know, you don't have to worry about any negativity happening in your life now. It's your time. Let's see what other love messages for you. playfulness wow this is nice see good times are back again i mean you'll be meeting the person you love and uh, you know good, good times are uh, back again so this is also beautiful i mean happy times dating whatever great this is beautiful i feel a lot of uh, time with the person you love maybe you did not have the time before but yeah give your relationship another chance i told you right now things will be improving so even if it's about your relationship it's going to be improving things are going to be better you know you guys will communicate maybe communication was required and that's why i said you know if um if things are not right between you two it's time to communicate and understand you know so i'm going to move on to pile number 3 i'm sorry for a minute i am okay my son wanted to take something <laughs> from the cupboard and I told him hold on anyway i am take so i'm going to move on to uh, pile number 3 which is the uh, bird and uh, let's see what are the messages if you've chosen pile number 3 and shut the door when you go out so let's see pile number 3 what are the messages what can you expect with the bird the bird has messages for you love communication happening tweeting do you like twitter This is a love bird. I feel love bird. This is not a love reading, but I don't know why I feel it's a love bird. I told you, great. I feel so great when things are validated by my spirit guides. I told you it's a romantic cycle. So this is tweet. This is love. You. It's like you know, two birds chirping together, talking all the time. So you guys are going to uh, have a lot of messages for uh, you know each other. It's like a new relationship probably because you'll be talking a lot with the other person. There are a lot of messages. You know, that's what I feel. And this is such a beautiful balance. a very balanced relationship a very a very um, great relationship where there is a balance of give and take you know it's not that one one person is going to work hard or whatever work through your uh, work through your fears okay do not fear anything right now it's time to be bold you know do you know take risk taking but also be careful about one person around you is what i get okay because i feel they might distinguish you you know even you thought they are you are they are good for you i mean great friends but this is uh, somebody is trying to you know trying to be smart you know probably a deal that uh, somebody is cracking and you know they will be telling you lies or something and whatever they do will sting you you know that's what i feel it, it will hurt you so just be careful of somebody around you who doesn't have good vibes i'm getting 
or is not good for you but is uh, being you know very nice to you on the face but has different plans very important i told you step out of your com uh, comfort zone this is you have to take the risk guys sorry i mean you cannot uh, you cannot play it safe you ca you can't be comfortable right now where you are i think you got to move forward unless you move forward you will not get what you want okay that's what i feel Re uh, really i mean uh, I also feel eight number is very important for this pile. I don't know what is with eight and four. I get eight and four number is also very important for this pile. Oh, sorry. And when I do this, my spirit guides are around me. When your nose is scratchy, you know spirit guides are around you giving you messages. You know, that's one of the signs. If you notice feathers around you, your spirit guides are around you. Your loved ones are around you. So I got the north node and I got the south node. So the south node says, don't let your past hold back. This one is just like a romantic pile, you know, because I got the bird reading. Um, if you have to, uh, and it says if you uh, have to, uh, you know, uh, you have to get out of your comfort zone. And why? Because you have to leave your past behind. You so much stuck onto your past. If you do not, uh, you know, not think of the past, you're not going to move forward. So this is all about somewhere you are stuck in your past. Could be not just romance. It could be a job that you're not just leaving it. You got so comfortable with the job, the timing, the people around you, the kind of work. You're not taking the risk. Maybe there's something better for you. You're going to get bored of it very soon. Look at this, guys. The end of a tough uh, cycle of coaches. And luck is on your side. You're getting beautiful cards. So you do not have to worry about anything, you know, because I feel great things are going to happen to you. But you have to step out of your comfort zone. I mean, you can't be sitting on that chair, the same job, uh, which doesn't pay you well. They treat you like a table or a chair, like furniture. You've got to get out. Breathe, breathe easy. You're taking too much stress. You're thinking too much. Look at this. Break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. So it's telling you actually to soar up because where you're sitting in on the surface in the water, you think that's the best, and you do not know when you get out of the water. It's a good world also. So it's almost like a frog in the well story that I'm getting here. Is it? I mean, you got so used to is uh, the person, the job or something. That you're not stepping out and that's not right sorry the ac is on and and it's coming on me my hair offline i saw this card you know and uh, i did not take it that time but i think it belongs in the reading because this is the second time that i'm seeing it and the tide will come in when it is ready so i think uh, you know you're getting impatient about something also for for a lot of you this is impatience okay and they're saying be patient okay probably you're stuck in your job you know and you're like uh, i'm just going to leave it and you're going to leave it without a without another job in your hand so guys that doesn't work so you've got to get something and uh, be patient you know and uh, do not do not jump also you know you are a frog in the well is fine you need to jump but do not jump uh, without uh, you know uh, just having some kind of safety net like another job or or something so do not do that you know don't be impatient and this is breathe for the second time. So, uh, guys, uh, breathe. Do not take so much stress. It will happen. What's supposed to happen will happen, okay? And then it's supposed to happen. I think the time is also a factor, a big factor. Self-care, drowning doesn't always require water. Very important. Very nice message, self-care. You know, you're drowning yourself. I mean, the kind of uh, worries you're giving yourself, it's your overthinking. Probably the other person is not stressing you as much as you're stressing yourself. Safety is important. Do not be too proud to go back to the show. Risk could also be you started somewhere, you read somewhere, but now maybe you have to start something new and you're worrying, should I start from the beginning? Maybe you left a kind of field you were in and uh, you're like, should I go back you know, to that and start something new, which is totally different? You have to go back to the show sometime. You have to start, you have to start again. Let's see what are the love messages for you. Romantic feeling, somebody has feelings for you. I could be a secret admirer. I really feel and you kind of have this feeling that there is a secret admirer. I get you've got a secret admirer. I know the person is talking to you or not on Instagram or whatever, whatever, but I really feel and it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Probably you are getting feelings for someone or you're feeling for someone, you're getting attracted and you do not know is it just, you know, like uh, real feelings or is it just the attraction or is there something more. So I think uh, you're just trying to recognize what kind of feelings you have for the person. Or it could be vice versa also, the energies. So you've got to make the effort. Probably the other person is too shy to come forward. Or probably you can also go, you know, these days it's nothing like a woman can't approach or just the man's job or something, I don't know. So uh, even you can go and approach. And I think probably the person who admires you secretly also might come and approach you. So somebody's going to approach you, you're going to approach someone, you know. 
that's what I see. Let's see any other messages that I can give. I've done a lot of romantic reading, so I thought this would be a good change because it's a nice mix always. Getting nostalgic about something, I don't know, thinking of the past. I think going back in the past, remember we got the card where it says do not move into the, you know, just break away from the past and, you know, get out of your comfort zone. You're thinking about something, old memories coming back to you, you know. It's almost like you were watching an album and you saw your ex or you were watching Instagram, Facebook, you saw your ex and suddenly memories, you know, came flooding back to you. undecided about something so you need to take a decision and you need to be on the top of the situation whatever it is so yeah it is important for you and uh, i think also it says get out of the situation and things will become more clearer to you maybe you need to step back where you are so definitely every card in most of the decks is saying you need to step back to understand that you know probably you are stuck in a situation or how to see the situation so when you're in the situation you know, even if we are in a job, we are like, okay, the job is not nice. And the moment we see others, we are like, oh my God, they are in the same boat. I thought their job is very nice. So if you want, you can take the risk, make a very, uh, choose, choose things very wisely, make a measured decision. And uh, then, yes, go ahead because um, I, I feel, I mean, whatever you wanted will happen. And that's what I said. And it's a matter of time because time was coming here more to me than anything. That was the biggest message that I was getting. And with, and with this pile, I get yellow is a very good color. That's another thing I get. So those are the messages and do subscribe to my channel. I always forget to introduce myself and I'm so the thing about giving messages, so excited. Anyway, do uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and do share uh, the uh, reading if you like it. And uh, I'll be back with another reading. You can always suggest what kind of readings do you like. I do not mind taking new readings. At least you as a viewer, you know, you it's, it's good to know your choices and what you like also. So bye guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.